Hi everybody and welcome! My name is Amos and this is Gotar the Garage. Today we're going to have a look on how to install this winch on your rig. Hi again! As you can see, on my table I've got the winch and everything that came into the package with it. Let's take a closer look. We've got a 13,500 pound winch. I bought this from Viva. It's a budget winch, but it should be enough for what I've got to do. So there is a few bits and pieces that come with the winch. There is a control box, very important to make it function. All the cable needed, um, long earth cable, long positive cable. There is a wiring controller, there is a wireless controller, there is a hook, hardware to mount it, cable slider here, and there is a manual for mounting and using it. Uh, I must say the manual is pretty basic, uh, but it's still important to give it a read. There are a couple of things uh, to bear in mind before mounting this to your truck. There is going to be the possibility that you'll have to cut some bits and pieces of plastic to make it fit, which was the case with my Land Rover. Also, if you have a look under the winch, there is the hearth connector. So it's important to connect that first before you slide it into place and bolt it on. Otherwise, it will be difficult uh, to install it later on. Um, as you can see, all the cables are color coded, so it's pretty easy to install. And uh, this is the controller, simple in and out with the connector that connects to the control box. There is also a pair of gloves, which are very important, especially with steel cable. Uh, but anyway, it's recommended to use them every time you use a winch. So let's go outside and have a look on how to mount it. First thing first, you need to measure where to cut your grill. So I dropped the winch in place where it was supposed to do to go. And then I grab my, my grill, drop it on top of it and see. So I cut from here to here only one line and then I saw it didn't quite fit so I cut a recess there and here then what I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the control box on here measure how high it's gonna go and then I cut this let me show you I'm just gonna put the control box where I want it this is the wrong way around but it's just to measure the height marked the two side there and the height and then I went inside and cut it. So let me just show let me just show you how the grill looked like once I cut it. This is how the grill looked like once I cut it. As you can see, it's got the two recesses there and there where it didn't quite fit. And then I cut this one for the control box to go in. So this is the winch. The negative is down here. So what I will do, I will connect the big earth cable and then there is also an earth onto the control box. So what to do, you know where you want to mount this. So I would mount it just where I want it, like that. You just need a screwdriver to tighten it up. So 
So done that then, you go back on the underneath, you get the earth cable from the control box. Let me take you around here and I'll show you. It's just worth connect everything before we mount it. So as you can see, there is a red, yellow and black connection and they're color coded to accept these terminals. What I would suggest you to do, one mistake I made, is to mount these too central so I would move it more towards the connection because this one is a little tight. It's still okay, but it's not ideal. But it's too late now that I cut the grill, so make sure you do all this before you cut it and make sure you're happy for um, where the cable are going. to put the two mounting hardware for the cable guide uh, for the cable guide onto the bumper let me show you here we are so that's the bumper we need to put these two bolts through like that they cannot go the other way otherwise they will rub against the winch and you will we won't be able to tie them up but you also won't be able to put them in when the winch is in Now the winch is more or less in place. We we'll just need to cut this cable tie, make the cable go through here, and then mount the slides on here. Okay, so we've got the guide here for the cable. Okay. So next, there are four bolts under here, so they're just there, one, two, three, four, and you just bolt them up, and then the winch is in place. Then we'll hook it. Next is just to get the wire up to the battery. My red wire was a bit too long, so I just looped it there. Uh, eventually I will shorten it, I just don't have the connectors right now. And now it's time to put the grill on. So the winch is working, um, it's got both the wiring controller and the wireless controller. I'm very happy on the way it turns out. I think it looks very slick, um, it's quite low profile, doesn't stick out too much. So I'm happy with it. Um, it looks pretty good for the price. Uh, this winch cost me 220 pound deliver to my home i will put a link on this a link on the description 
if you are interested but yeah as you can see it doesn't stick out much at all so now what is left to do is just spool it properly and that's it you've just watched how to install the winch on your rig if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below to let me know if you liked it what i could have done better and give me any advice this was Gotardi Garage, see you next time.